Hello, this is Lord of Yes it is, and welcome to a game that I've been wanting to play for a while and bring you for a while and uh, I think it's time I played it. It's called uh, Beholder 2 and this is a beta version, this is a this is an open beta version. It's actually got some more stuff to come in and it looks, it looks really polished right now but it's really nice but uh, as I said I wanted to play it for a while because I did have a play of Beholder 1 I didn't, I don't, I didn't make a big deal. I didn't put it on my channel, but I did enjoy the game. And you were like this, um, you were like this uh, manager, a uh, house manager, just watching over a house and the guests. And yeah, you, you, you basically work for the ministry where you've got to spy on your on your uh, tenants and try and find out if they're breaking the law, and then report to them to the ministry. So that's what you've got to kind of do, and that's what you do. You put like cameras around around you. The building and inside people's rooms and search rooms when they're not there and all sorts of things like that. Well, this one I'm not sure exactly what you do here, but I'm looking forward to to playing it. This is number two, and yeah, I'm, I've been watching it for a little while now, and now I see I'm very happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new game. I've had a little run round, of course, as usual. Like I say before, I like to work out the buttons and everything, so I've got all that sorted. And now we can start a new game and we can get going. So, uh, welcome to Beholder 2. As I said, it is in beta, so if there is any bugs that we come across or there's something that's like misspelt or not, you know, doesn't sound right when, when I read it out, then remember it is in beta and there's more to be done to me and it's going to be a lot more polished. So, uh, let's get into it. See, straight off, I love the, like, the art style straight away. It look, it's got that kind of same colouring that the first one had, but uh, but this one feels already, already feels more detailed. Hi, guess you're the one I'm waiting for. My name is George Hemnitz. I don't know why I picked this <laughs> accent. I never had an accent when I had a quick play through play of this, but now I have one. Nice to meet you, Evan. Oh, sorry. That's, that's me. Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be myself. Uh, nice to meet you, Evan. When people say it like that, you kind of. It's almost like you're saying it to them, like "Nice to meet you, Evan." But it's not. It's nice to meet you, Evan. As in, that's my name. I'm Evan Redgrave. Okay. You must be a big shot, Evan, right? Why? I've been with the ministry for eight years, four months, and twelve days. In that time, I processed. 18,342 applications, had 1,629 cups of coffee, and witnessed 284 incidents of civil disorder. Now ask me, how many times I got sent to welcome a new employee for his first day? Um, how many? Zero, Evan. Zinch. Not once in all of these 3,052 days. So you've got to be a big deal, right? Uh, well, I'll put no clue. I, th I think you got me mixed up with someone else. I'm here to be a simple clerk. My name's Evan Redgrave. Redgrave, as in Redgrave. Redgrave. Sorry, let me read that again. Redgrave, as in Redgrave, Redgrave. Oh God, your father. Go on, Hemnitz. What did you want to say? My deepest condolences. Can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. And to think I saw him just 58 hours and 23 minutes before. Before his death. I like this guy. He's got like everything down precise. I've had 1,600 and some coffees and all this. is. It just, it's like that kind of person who's really stuck in uh, in this kind of mentalism that, that is trying to be there for the ministry. We weren't that close. To be honest... We haven't talked for a decade. I didn't even know he worked here until yesterday. He didn't just work here. Your father your father was one of the most respected people in the ministry. One of the top management. And the most amazing thing is, he never looked down on subordinates. 
He was an open, honest man. What happened? Did police make any headway? We aren't told much, so I only have a fact or two. The rest is gossip and fantasies of daft employees. <laughs> what are the facts? 48 hours and 23 minutes ago, your father fell out of the ministry's top floor window. He fell down 37 floors, hit the pavement and died on the spot. His owner didn't tell him how fast he accelerated and what speed he was doing when he hit the floor. Is that precise usually? The law enforcement is working on finding out what happened and why. At least, that's what we're told. That's not much. Perhaps. I have some important info on your father's death. But it's best to discuss it somewhere quiet. After I instruct you and show you your desk. Because you know, priorities. Ready for your first day at the ministry? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so up here I've got this, uh, these tasks. To the ministry, follow Hemnitz to your work area. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, so I'm actually leading. Okay, so you can't go up and down, so it's just left and right scrolling. I'm guessing it does a depth of field thing when it, it suits the story. So that then they can move it can move uh, where it wants. All this writing here is just looks like he's um, telling facts about the place, so read this yourself. I don't really think I really need to read this out. Um, oh, look at you, big guy. Woohoo! Hey, oh, hello, hello. Can I? Are we talk No. I we talk about emails. Your father died here on the cold, indifferent pain pavement. Well, nobody's actually saying this, so I'll just read it out. Now it's the favourite spot of gossipers. You can eavesdrop, even though you're not likely to hear anything nice or useful. I can eavesdrop. How do I use drop? Alright. Alright, so I point to the person. And then point to that. What happened here? I've been bringing reports to the Ministry of Distribution for three days. I've missed everything. I like how close I get to eavesdrop. I actually just... I actually go and stand on the toes. They say Redgrave fell out a window yesterday. Do you know who he was? Of course I do. He was one of the big wigs. He could, so he could, something like the how could something like that happen? Okay, I think we've done. Let's get out of this. How do I, how do I break? There we go. Let's carry on. Come on, Hemnitz. Okay, so we're in the building now. I might, some people might end up with a similar accent, or some might not end up with an accent at all, even though they probably should have one. So then everybody will end up, so a lot of people will end up sounding like Redgrave. But don't worry about it. It's just me. I'll play with some accents and not with others. Oh, Mr. Tall Police from there. Who oh, is the big guy? Ministry safety is, is, sorry. Ministry safety is a separate reason to be proud. The security guard is your best friend here. Especially when you get along. Uh, hello, Mr. I, I, I get along with, with you. Can I click you? I can. Oh, you don't want to talk. Yeah, okay. Okay. You don't want to talk. Come on, Amnitz. Uh, metal detector. Uh, if I've got anything that beeps, it's not my fault. Green. Here we go. Be green. Oh, God. Whew. Oh, oh, you've got something on you. Search him. Oh, look, someone got caught. Beating him up and people are clapping. It's nice that everybody can beat you up, can can applaud while somebody's getting battered to death with look of it. The newly developed optic fiber connects these frames with the main ministry, reg ministry register. Connection speed is over 10 gig per second. Wow, they just beat the crap out of him. Oh, he gave him a club to the face. Oh, well, at least they stopped clapping now, so that's one good thing. No wonder the guards beat people up so well if they get a round of applause for doing it. Like I said before, there's still some floor. So sorry, it's it's Hamnet. So, uh, like I said before, there's 37 floors and twice that much in the ground. Wow, at least according to official data. Let's have a practice of listening to people again. What wouldn't people do for a promotion? Some set their co-workers up. Some suck up their bosses. How do we? How do we? Can I? How do I? Some the Do I have to push towards them? 
I just want to work out how to get uh, how to do, do a bit of. Or do you have to wait till he's finished talking? So I believe the guy with the last name should have been issued moving up one day. Ah, oh, there we go. So that then goes up there if I click it. So now Meave's dropping. I forgot the access code to my terminal. What am I to do now? It escapes me. What if someone else remembers it? Ah, what a nuisance. Okay. That didn't really do anything. Okay, so I guess we're scrolling this way still. I haven't done this part, so I have no idea now. Okay. We should always remember why we are here. And thanks to what or who. Okay. <coughs> That's where we hold general meetings. They're usually pretty mundane. People petting, sorry, people getting rewarded or reprimanded. Sometimes we also publicly condemn the actions of our neighbour states. Lovely. Oh, he's talking music. Can we? Can you not wait till somebody over there? We also sing anthems sometimes. For example. This month, I sang the main state anthem 426 times. Well, actually, sometimes I might miss what he says because I'm trying to click on other things, and when you left click, it moves the um, it moves the dialogue on. So I'm uh, I'm sometimes missing stuff. Can I can I listen to them what way over there? Kind of tells you what they're talking about. Well, no, okay. There must have to be a certain distance away. The ministry's first floor is 440,000 square meters. Incredible, isn't it? Yes, mighty incredible. Yep, very nice. This is brilliant. I'm really enjoying this. And the thing is, this is only going to get better because, as I said, it's in beta. So this is actually going to get better than this, which is kind of amazing. See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Whether it's a real issue or not, isn't up to us to decide. Our job is so is to send people to the right department. I see. Can I speak to him? But it's important not to be an overachiever. We don't want people make, thinking the ministry doesn't have anything better to do. Okay. Can I not talk to... Yeah, I know I see those lines. I can't. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to him. I can't. Try to be a friend to that to that guard there. This dude is a klutz. Always drops stuff. Keep forgetting his name. Uh, you okay, kid? You can help him if you want, but helping others isn't something we usually do around here. On one hand, of course, they might be grateful. On the other, you never know what people are up to. Many of many of them here won't miss a chance to trip or backstab you. So, I want to help him. And I wish I could say it's just a figure of speech, but, well, it's up to you what you do. Yeah, let's, let's give him a, a bit of a helping hand. Uh, I'm going to be like my father. Yes, of course, let's all kick Morris. Who hasn't kicked Morris today yet? I've already had coffee poured over my head and a pimple on my seat. Help. Let me help you. I'm a very funny young man. I'm serious. I'd be happy to help you collect everything up. Really? Are you from another ministry or a newcomer? Today's my first day. That explains it. I, w I wonder if you'll stay that way or just become like the others. Anyway, thank you very much, young man. Clumsy Morris isn't the most pleasant or useful friend, but... You can be sure I'll return your kindness to the best of my, of my modest abilities. Don't mention it. Good choice. Keep in mind you can't help everyone, no matter how hard you try. Trust me, I tried. Bye, Morris. Careful with you. We're carrying those. Don't fall again. I can't be there all the time. Good man. Oh, we're being scanned. Stand still. I don't want to get beat up while the crowd's clapping, clapping again. Okay, oh, oh, we've got some food. Hi. That's, uh, who are you? I haven't seen you here before. 
uh, get acquainted. Good afternoon, my name's Evan. I'm new. Really? I'm Serena Mowit. Uh, well, here's my advice, newbie. If you don't want to lose your mind and your life, keep away from vending machines. Okay, no vending machines. Talk about everything. Talk about the weather. Do you know what temperature it is outside? Do I look like a thermometer? <laughs> I just want to explore everything. I know you guys might not want to see this, but as I said, this is beta, and I want to give it a run, a, a run just to have a look at everything. When it comes out properly, fully, I'll probably do a really full uh, run through on my channel. But I just want to have a look at it now. So that means just clicking on mundane things as well. Talk about trading in the ministry. How do you make it past security? The ministry is a restricted access area. What do you think people eat in restricted areas? Eh? They used to have a whole canteen on this floor. That's for details. When it was shut down to cut cast, people's folks started dying of starvation right at their workplace. So the bosses had to okay selling food here. And nobody stop and nobody stops you. I'd love to see him try. Wow, so you're quite a big shot. Please, I was a janitor here, and you know how it goes. Nobody pays attention to the hired help, so I've seen and heard a lot. Once the canteen got shut down, I figured things out and went straight to the pass. We agreed on the amount fairly quickly. The security chief, though, became a problem. So I had to remind him of what happened on the day of order a couple of years ago, and he came to his senses pretty sharpish. Ever since, security just smiles and waves at me. In other words, a good, healthy dose of blackmail. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, right. Want to start smuggling pies too and take my job away? What interests you? So, in other words, she's she blackmailed the top bosses to be able to sell food on there. And when one of other when one of the security kind of were a problem, she'd already heard what he'd done on another time that could have got him in trouble. So, do you have kids, Serena? Why? You want to be a dad? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm good with the ones that... Oh, I've got I've got kids. Okay, I'm good with the ones I've got. Just curious how you manage to do everything. I'm not going to discuss my family with you. What do you care? Okay, yeah, because, of course, on this, they all um, backstab each other, so you don't want to tell anybody about your personal business. So we're going to have a conversation. Raided Burns, oven baked pies. And we're just going to move on from there. Thank you, Serena. Let's move on. What's this? And here's the common room. You'll be spending a lot of time here, working or talking to co-workers. Okay. Who do you want? Why you got? What? What? Why you got? Who are you? You, <laughs> you Peter Dong. <laughs> oh well, let's call you after a penis, <laughs> Mr. Dong. And Peter, you could call that, that could be a euphemism for a pe penis. So it's basically called penis penis. Very nice. Uh, sorry, I have time to talk to you right I don't have time to talk to you right now. See you, Peter. <laughs> oh, dear. Who's this guy? Hello. My name is Evan. I'm new here. Nicholas Page. Okay. Why would I trade? I can't tell. I ain't got no nothing to trade. There's a courier. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, I've stopped. That's your desk. Take a look around. I'll give you your first assignment as soon as you're ready. Okay. Take a look around. What, my desk? Oh, what's this? This little... Can't do anything with that yet. Oh, he's a big guy. You're a big guy. Nice. Uh, another one of these. Still can't do anything. I don't know what he says, but I'm taking a look around. There ain't much to see. I don't want to go too far away, because I don't think I'm supposed to. Uh, and we'll meet everybody later. Oh, Peter, why you, Why have you got that over your head? Sorry, I don't have time to talk to right now. Okay, Peter. I can't quite decide accent on Peter, so it might move a little bit. Don't worry. 
<laughs> My accents usually don't do well, so don't worry. I'll probably even get rid of accents before you know it. Okay, let's do this. Have you had a look around? I'll show you to your workplace and show you the ropes. Uh, listen to briefing. Do you already know your job duties? Tell me about my job. So, we're in the reception room. People working in these booths assign visitors to ministries and officers. This is the final, is the front line of our Biola Karatic defense. Only the chosen ones can pass it. Do you mean us? Do you think you've been chosen? People often consider themselves to be special, but in fact, we're all the same. Two square meters of skin, 206 bones, five liters of blood. Well, as long as you eat well and aren't honor uh, an honorary blood donor. And eventually, we all die, except for the wise leader, of course. But before you die, you need to work hard. <laughs> I kind of like him. I really do. You'll be dealing with visitors, listening to their appeals, figuring out which forms they need and which ministries and available offices they have to go to. You've got to press the right button in the terminal, print out the referrals and give them to the visitors. You know, it sounds like a bit, a bit like that game that I think it was about 20, what, 2013 game? Something like that, 20, 2013, 2014 game called Papers, Please. Like you, this uh, border, border, um, what do you call them? Like this border guard kind of thing, and you, you you give out the visas for people to cross over the border. You know, you you're you're at the terminal, and you have to, and people come, and you have to decide whether they get the visa stamped and things like that. You have to check date of birth and height, weight. You have to check while they're there that the sex is right, that the picture matches, that the stamps are in right or right place, and everything. It's quite in depth as it goes, and this reminds me a bit like Papers Please. If it is, I'm going to enjoy it because I actually enjoyed Papers, please. So, uh, that'll be fun. Ask about the forms. What kind of forms? Currently, we have four types of forms. Request, complaint, denunciation and information. You select one, depending on the appeal. If you're having difficulties determining the appeal type, use the hints in the terminal. Okay, ministries. What ministries are there? In fact, there are many ministries established and abolished every day, and we never have time to update our registry. Fortunately, the big six are always around. The Ministry of Order, Patriotism, Social Care, Law, Labour, Culture and Sports, and Science and Technology. Okay, about officers. What officers are you talking about? Each ministry has several officers. You can see the weekly operating schedule on the officers on the right. Okay, complete tutorial. Everything's clear so far, in theory. Well, now let's, let's see how much theory differs from practice. Okay. So, let's start with the basics, the forms. Your task for today is to process five visitors. You'll get reputation points for meeting your quota. Reputation? I'd rather have money. Evan, in our ministry, reputation is much more valuable than money. Anyone can steal or find money, but your reputation is earned. <coughs> Excuse me. Without it, you can forget your promotions, rewards, your whole career. If you don't have enough influence in the ministry, your colleagues won't even talk to you. What a good day. Ask about doing the task. How do I process the forms? Take your seat, get a set of forms and start talking to visitors and filling out their information. Don't let me down. Oh yeah, that's that one. How can I earn reputation? You you get it by meeting your appeal processing quota. Don't let me down. <laughs> Who are all these people? The visitors. They're just people. Not like you and me, of course. We work for the ministry. And these are ordinary people with ordinary problems. When they can't solve them, them, them themselves, they come to us. And we are their last hope, Evan. Remember... If we don't help them, no one else will. They might cry, swear, laugh, and even threaten you. They can be unpleasant, rude, mean and cruel, but you must remember that they came here for help, and your job is to help them. To help them, I understand. 
No, your job is to process their request correctly. As for help, that depends on the case. Okay, we're nearly there. Talk about work. That's about, no, 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 no. We'll do that later. Uh, we'll talk about family later. All right, let's go then. So we'll have a conversation. We'll go and do this, and then we'll call it today. So we'll go in here. It's going to be quite long, this first video, but I can't be helped. Okay, start fire forms. Good afternoon. I've brought a, I've brought a write up of my invention. Hair curlers made from rifle ammo. All formatted, numbered, filed, and ready for to be archived. Uh, visitors, good afternoon. I've brought a write up. Will that be information? Yeah, it's going to be information. Uh, what's going to be that? Patriotism, social care, labour, culture, science and technology? What's that? What's a write up? So, that would be patriotism. Because they're trying to help the ministry. So, patriotism. Uh, well, then just collapse that. What's, what's open here? 154, we're on Monday. 154 is open. Print. What were it? Science and technology. Damn it. I want to inform you that my brother in law is uh, keeping forbidden books. I know for a fact that he reads them under a blanket with a flashlight. The dunson denunciation, yeah. Uh. It will be order, surely. The so 101. Yes! Order. Keep the order. Next. I request that the Ministry of Labour investigate and prosecute the management of Bank Number 12 for incompetence. I request. So it's a request. Uh. Sure, that's going to be order again, isn't it? Can't do that one. Two twelves open. Okay, so I messed that up. I didn't understand because she said that I request. I mean, I thought it sounded like it weren't requested, like it were complained, but. Why does it say, why is it one? When it, they shouldn't really put the speech as I request if they're then going to uh, make it complaint. Anyway, I'd like to get a gun. That's a request. Uh, I can only think that's... I mean, that could be patriotism, but it sounds like order again. 301's open. Yes. Okay, so we've got that one. Oh, a bit better. Next. Visitor, I'm going to hold you responsible for everything. Uh, is that a complaint or denunciation? Complaint? I really don't know on this one. I, 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 I just don't know. So... We'll go 357. Yeah, I weren't sure what that were. Right, is there anything else? No, that's it. Okay, I didn't do very well there. I suppose I didn't quite understand everything that I, that I had to do. It's, very, it's a bit different from Papers, Please, but eh, it was still fun. Still enjoyed it. Right, I'm going to save it there. Let's click a save. Okay. Let's put that back on. So I'm going to save it there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. And, of course, I'm, I might do really bad first time doing that job. I've got to get used to what everything stands for and what. Because all them different complaints and, and the ministries, you can, they can go to everything. You've got to kind of understand what everyone does. And I don't. I just kind of kept 
clicking order. <laughs> if you look, every choice was just about order. So, yeah, I weren't sure what to do. But I'll, I'll get better. I've just got to get used to everything and then I'll be fine. If I do that two or three times, trust me, I'll be fine at it. But for now, it's been a really good game. Please comment on that, what you think of it. And uh, I'll bring more very soon. And then, of course, I will bring the full game when it's released. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you soon. So you take care and goodbye for now.